In today's video, I am playing one of the world's most jaw-dropping golfing destinations, the Condor Club, or known as the Condor Experience. And let me tell you, having been here a few days, it really is an experience. We are going to go behind the scenes and find out just what it costs to play here and find out what you get for one of the world's highest priced green fees. And of course, we'll be going out on the golf course, showing you every hole, every single shot from our round here, and find out whether this golf course and this experience is really worth its price tag. It really is billionaire's golf. We get to do some unbelievable things on my channel. There's nothing like that. We're the only people on the golf course. An army of staff that have been out this morning to prepare this golf course just for me. It's hard to think of anything much better. Well, there's no one here. There's no one here! Now, I've been out on the golf course on my own before, but this is different. I mean, a 300 acre golf course. I'm here on a trip. There's other content coming from it, some other people here. But right now, I've got up really early to film this video. There is no one here. The green stuff is still out on the golf course preparing it just for us. But this place really is right now just for me so so much to tackle in today's video and i know one of the questions you're going to be asking is how much does it cost sebi well we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about that and a lot more as i said there are lots of people out from this trip mia baker our host for the week inviting myself and lots of other content creators out to create loads of videos showing you all different aspects of this place now i'm going to cover all of those but mainly my focus is going to be on this golf course which started with this lovely par five. I'm going to give you every single shot shown of my golf course and I'll give you a little spoiler alert guys. I was playing pretty well this week. I found something in my golf swing and I was playing quite nicely. Not nice enough to convert that birdie putt on the first hole but nice enough that I was confident of a decent round. Could I shoot better than my handicap around this golf course which is currently a three handicap uh, but you guys are going to want to see this golf course in all its detail because as we said earlier it it's a very, very expensive green fee. We're talking six figures here, guys. This is how much it costs to play. You cannot be a member. The only way you can play here is to rent the entire chateau, the entire estate, just for you and your personal guests. It's uh, it's something truly, truly different. Something truly remarkable that I've never experienced before, may never experience again. Uh, but it, let's look at the golf course itself. You know, there are loads of places that have their own private golf courses, but this one's different. You wait till you see some of the holes later in this video. But back to my round, this second hole, par four, 376 yards. I've set up a nice little birdie putt. And there in the background, you can see another small chateau where some of the staff live on site. They're all there just for you. Yeah, that is how we start. Come on. Probably is a chance to get some birdies on the scorecard early on. I thought it'd be on the first. The second's a much tougher hole, so I'm very pleased with that. But Another par five now, big opportunity. You can sort of cut the corner here, but the green is hidden right at the bottom of the hill, but with water in front, left and behind. Actually, even right of it. Almost an island green here we're hitting into. Really, really tricky. This hole's great. You've basically got to cut the corner over to the right-hand side. The line for me is over the right edge of that bunker, and I've pushed it a little bit right here, almost a bit too close to this bush, which may have meant I couldn't go for it in two. And here I am, literally just at the other end of the bush, trying to nudge this one down. It's a lot of an island green. This is not the island green I spoke about later. That one's breathtaking. You wait till we get to the back nine. Some incredible holes. I'm gonna just hit this down, hopefully over that bunker, avoiding this feather. So I can hit on for a third. Yep. Mission accomplished. Yep, Safely in Safety play. That's the really look at the quality of this. Where do you see down by the hole here? The fairways are immaculate here. Like you talk about a private golf course, you think it'll just be, you know, a bit of a pitch and putt, but this place was championship standard. We're on the green, putting for another birdie. Can we go back to back? Now you can see the greens have recently been maintained here, getting ready for the season, but they were still rolling incredibly well. And this one was a pretty slick downhill left to righter. Didn't want to be too punchy with it and I sent it out there and it did uh, a bit of a misread. Didn't quite come back as much as I thought, but tapping par, we stay under par. Delightful start. Fourth hole was a great short par four. You've got to cut up to this corner here. Give yourself, just staying short of that big bunker on the right, give yourself a line into that green. As you can see, the goal here for me was driver. Just hit it out towards the bunker. Hopefully not go in it. One of the benefits of not being the biggest hitter is sometimes I can't reach the trouble. So over a bit of a uh, a ditch. I was going to say members bounce, but there's no members. That's right, there are no members here at the Condor Club. The only way you can play is to have the Chateau for yourself. Mental. 58 or 54. I think I'm going to take 58 and just commit to it. Hopefully so I'm debating the wedge choice here because it's one of those mid-range shots. I've got it in absolute A1 position. 
the pin was at the front. I didn't want to risk leaving it in the water in front of the green. But also, you don't want to go too far along on these sort of shots because you know, then you're chipping back towards it. So up it goes. Caught it a little bit thin, if I'm honest. And it's gone towards the top of the hill. Oh dear, that's going to be tricky coming back down the hill. It definitely was going to be tricky. I'm actually chipping here from down it. Clipped it really nicely. One just got it to the top of this ridge. It started to roll down. And here's where you can see just how pure the greens are. The ball rolling so nicely down there for a very, very simple tap-in par. Fifth hole, par four, 296. The line is try and cut the corner over those conifers. And, well, I got too greedy. Right, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I'm in the trees left. But it's worse than that because there's a bunker between us and the green on the flag. The pitch out sideways is very, very tricky. There's overhanging branches. There's the bank. There's the bunker the other side of it. There's a bunker just there. I might have to go for it. I don't really know what else I can do. Uh, this could be a card wrecker. Could be a card wrecker. I think there's a gap straight through there. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the flag there? I think there's a gap just to the left of it. If I punch it up left and long, but I've still got a pretty narrow angle to go through. Is that on? What do we think? I don't think I've got a huge amount of choice. Started well, so you don't want to throw around away. But if, there's, if it's not on, if there's no layup on, sometimes, you know, being aggressive is the only play, right? I, I did, that's like I just said, I do not have really much choice here. There wasn't really any very, very backwards well. or take your medicine idea. And I've hit that really side, nicely. Hit the last tree, but it's bounced out into the bit of sun. We're in business. Got away with one there. So we did clip a tree, but it pushed out towards just the side of the green. Beautifully kept rough here, or second cut. And that one had a chance, it nearly went in. Very, that would have been an outrageous to steal a birdie from that position, but now I've got a chance to convert this and turn in a par and stay under par. Yes. In it goes. Solid. Absolute fronk. That's a fronk ribbery. In case you're new to the channel. There are two insane par threes here. There are more than that, but there are two specifically that I love. The thick here, this one with water and the fountain. You've got that bridge there, but if you just look through the trees, what awaits us later on the 12th. An almost exact replica of the 17th from Sawgrass. Island Green, it's got the same banking, it's got the same little bunker. What a hole that is, we've done some fun challenges there this week. That's gonna be fun, but this one's very testing. Um, pin has been tucked right behind the bunker. 134 into wind, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go eight home. So there's gonna be some great other videos coming from this, including a 14 club challenge on that island green with Iona Steven. Did a challenge against the She Sisters who are out here as well with myself and Mia. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And you're that you're was you're a today. good eight iron hit over the bunker. I probably pulled it a little bit if I'm honest, I wasn't trying to be that aggressive, but a chance for another birdie on its way. Down the hill off the left once again, and this time I'm not giving it enough break but you've got to just keep things going. I've maybe I've had a few birdie opportunities here, but the ball strike is looking nice. There is a chance to maybe oh, nice salvage one. it and stay under par as long as we possibly can here. But I got onto the next tee, and I'll be honest, guys, I had a bit of a moment. Just, just going to take a moment, to be honest, because I get to do some unbelievable things on my channel, play some incredible courses. There's nothing like this. This is truly something very special. Just look around. Look around where we are now. It's about... 8.30 a.m. in the morning here. We're the only people on the golf course. The rest of the guys I'm here with are all possibly having breakfast or just getting up in the chateau. There's an army of staff that have been out this morning to prepare this golf course just for us. And right now, just for me. Just played a glorious par three. I currently sit one under par. And I mean, look, just look at the little signs, the yellow flag. It, it gives you Augusta-like vibes. Now, obviously I'm not saying it's the same quality of golf course as Augusta National. But when you're here, it's hard to think of anything much better. Can you hear the birds? Can you hear those birds singing? Got the waterfall. There's no one here. There's no one here! <laughs> Literally, that just echoed around the woods. This is insane. Um, this is not one of those ones where I go, guys, if you want to come stay at the condo, I'll link below. I mean, maybe some of you would, but this is a seriously, seriously special place. And it's, it's not cheap. It's not cheap, we're gonna talk about just how much it costs to, uh, to play here later on or to stay here, because as I said earlier, it's a three night minimum stay and you've got to take the whole lot, all 300 acres or nothing. You can't rent a room, you've got to run the entire 12 bedroom chateau. It's gotta be all for you and your guests. 
or you can't come. And that's the only way to play the golf course is to stay here. This is for some serious individuals. I still am pinching myself how, the, how on earth I'm standing here right now. I will leave links in the description so you can check them out and look at it. And maybe some of you are in that position, maybe. Um, if you are, can I please come with you when you come back, if you come here? Can I come back? Come on then, let's keep this party going. So give me your best guess. We are gonna talk about it later in the video, but give me your best guess. Three night minimum stay, 12 bedroom French chateau, and its own private golf course. What do you think, guys? And by the way, the chateau oh, itself is right. incredible. To be honest, I had a bit of a moment on that last tee. I know I said that stuff, but over the ball, I started like, I don't know if I'm right to say it's to get emotional, but I like, genuinely feel a bit strange, right? I feel a bit out of body, because, I mean, this probably won't even make the video, to be honest. But I'm honestly just struggling to comprehend. I've been a few days now, but this is the first time I've properly felt like this. I think it's because I'm just out on the golf course completely myself. And you see, like, how impressive this place is. And even the other guests are here that are not here. Like, something about experiencing it on your own. Like, I went for a run around the grounds the other day in the morning, and that was pretty cool. But actually being out here, just hitting shots, hearing the birds, hearing just a few lawnmowers in the background, yeah, I mean, look over there, you can just see Dermot and his team, the general manager, they're just out. There's a little range that sits just in front of the chateau and they're just out there preparing it for the guys to practice as they come out, they're getting all things, they'll lay out all new tees, all new everything. I know a lot of golf courses do that, but just every little thing here. Yeah, it's insane. I've got to focus, I need to hit this shot, because it's a tricky shot, 70 yards. Uh, 70 yards um, on a lie, the ball's well above my feet. This, this video can end up being an hour long, and maybe it should be. I don't want to take anything out of this. Come on. Refocus. Refocus. Go! I tell you what. I tell you what. Something special is happening today. I've not been playing that well recently. I've been hacking it around, and when I've played well, I've not scored well. And when I've not played well, I have scored okay, but I've not felt properly on it for a while now. Today, something feels like it's clicking in. We're trying to shoot a handicap, but who knows? Could we go under for two under? Go on, ball, get up there. Nah, not, not chance there, but something special is happening today. If we can stay under par through nine holes, you never know. This could be the first under par round we've had in a long, long time. Nothing wrong with the tap-in regulation par though, here on the seventh. Eighth hole. Sun was coming up now, starting to see even more of the colors here at the Condor. This one was quite a small target area down the middle, which set up a fairly short approach over a pond on the right-hand side. And I was hitting it so nicely until then. Out of nowhere and near shank right. Oh dear. What a terrible golf shot I've just hit there. Molly's Pond. I've just come to see you. I've just found it. I was desperately looking for the ball here, guys, trying to stay under par. I had a good old look, but I think it hit that bank and it's bounced straight in. So it means we're going to have to take a drop. And now we grind. Little hinge and hold. Weight forward, hands forward, clip it. Chance. I'm happy with that. But I'm not happy with that. And that is about as good as we could hope for there. Save bogey, you've got to be pleased. Molly has killed us there though. Molly. Come on guys, bounce back. Molly, Par three, 126 to? yards. Little 99 on its way out to the right, trying to draw it back in. Didn't really come back. You know what, that wasn't that different to the shot I just hit in Molly's pond. The wind saved me there, I think. I have to sort this out. That was near. From a hole ago, saying I feel like I'm on a good one. I feel like I've almost got the shanks all of a sudden. Long range birdie putt, but realistically, we're just trying to make a nice two putt here and steady the ship. And this is a part of the golf course that was out on the other, another side. You just wait till you get to the back nine. Some of those holes are absolutely incredible. Tapping part, regulation. I'm really not feeling comfortable over those short ones. I need to put some work in on them. Short ish par four here for the 10th. Nice drive is away, but before we get down to where my ball is, look who we just bumped into. Guys, this is Mia Baker. You know Mia Baker. Uh, you would have, if you don't watch her stuff, then you would have seen her on my uh, channel before. Mia is someone that beat me on YouTube. Let's go golfing. She never lets me forget it. 
Um, <laughs> because I don't do gimmies. No, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. literally the only yeah. reason. <laughs> Well, what I want to talk to me about is why we've got you is obviously you are our host this week. You're the one who's inv invited me here, mm -hmm. which I'm very, very grateful for. I um, want to tell you again, so thank you again no, for that. Thanks for coming. How sick is this place? It's unbelievable. Like, I just walk around and my mind is constantly out of its head. I don't know if that's the saying, but I've just made up that saying now. Yeah. I, think, I think that is how I feel. I actually had a moment, what tea was it? Was it the seventh tea? And I've been playing, focusing on the filming, focusing on playing. And then the seventh tee, after that first island par three, I just stopped and I was like, wow. Oh, just... <laughs> and, um, and like, like this isn't was... normal. This, this is normal. like, this is not like, oh, I played this course, it was so nice. This yeah. is a whole other thing. And I don't care how good your videos are going to be, how, what we put in this video, no one will explain it until they feel it until they're here. You can't, I don't think you can give it off. No. Like, they start feeling, right? It's so strange. And people are like, why are you there? How are you there? And yeah. sometimes you wake up and you're like, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have no idea. I genuinely have no idea. Um, so you guys playing? What are you pl playing? We're doing a little tour. So Mia was watching us for the rest of this 10th hole before she got on with her tour. I will leave that linked in the description. Lots of content from Mia coming from this week as well, showing you another side of the Condor experience. But we've got ourselves another birdie putt. Just about, if we can count it, it's from off the green. So realistically, we're just trying a two putt here. And I had a chance, but look where it's gone now, guys. Oh dear. I knew I had to give that a whack, but it's too much a whack. And then I thought, could it, could it? And now look, testing one back for par. Needed to make one of these. Turn back in. Oh no, another shot's gone and we're over par all of a sudden. Two bogeys in three holes. And we need to settle the ship here. You know what, I'm playing quite well today. The guys who watch my channel know that normally it's the putter that saves me. And uh, today, if I'd only had my normal putter, it could be on a really low one, but there's still time. When I say normal putter, I mean my normal putting. I have got my new putter, my Spider GT, which I'm absolutely in love with. But 11th hole, 465, a longer par four, one of the longer par no fours on the golf course. This required a good, accurate tee shot to miss the bunkers. And we achieved that, and then, Normally my absolute nemesis, the long iron strike. I flushed one, guys. I absolutely flushed one. Oh, 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 oh full one out the bag there. Chance for a birdie to get back to level through 11 hole. This would be massive for momentum. In you get. Oh, I thought that was going to come back. Okay. 11 holes in. One over par. Not bad. Some par fives to come. We can get this back. Here it is then. This is the one I mentioned earlier, the Island Green, the replica of the 17th of Sawgrass. And as you can still see, there's still no one else here, guys. Look at this place. The guys still at work on the course. You've got, there's that six hole with the bridge we played earlier. Uh, and there it is, look at that green. Pot bunker just in front, just like Sawgrass. Today, the pin, 120 yards. So before we see this one going, I not only did a 14 club I challenge with the owner Stephen coming it. soon on the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel for that one coming soon, yeah. but also we did a skimming yeah. challenge with the owner as well. That's on my Instagram, that'll be linked down below. Couldn't birdie this, could we? Could we birdie this hole of all of them? Get there. Yes, <laughs> oh here my we God. go. The way my luck's been going on the greens, I was sure that was gonna stop on the edge, but we're back. Come on. Back to level, what a hole to birdie. We're delighted with that. Just had a little break. Uh, the food here is absolutely insane. I've had some amazing dinners, breakfast, inc incredible. So I need to refocus now, switch back on. Because we've got a round to finish off here. We're on a good score, keep it going. Par five, but a tricky one. Goes like dog leg right, past the big chateau, then back round to the left. So I think this will be a three shot, so let's see. Very interesting par five, this one. You wait till you see the view of the chateau from the corner here. Those trees in the distance, the green is actually behind those and there's some water to carry. So really, you wanna aim here, then lay out to the right. A really yeah, tricky hole, but we've got the first part done. Right, here's the shot in over water. The green is like behind those trees. It's hard to really get a distance. So I'm gonna go around here. There's another reason I wanna go around here, and that's because, wait till you see the driveway to the chateau. Boom. Now, we're going the other way. 2.30. Oh, it's gonna tempt me, isn't it? It's gonna suck me in this. I've got to go for it, haven't I? I've just got to. 
I've been lured in, guys, by the allure of this chateau, going straight over the trees, which is it's a really terrible decision, I'll be honest with you. The play is out to the right towards that bunker you can see, and then hit a short iron on. Could be in a bush, but I think it's alive. I had got away with it, but it was a really bad decision there. So you know, don't do, don't be a Seb. Don't be a Seb there. Play where you can see it, especially when you're playing a new golf course. That was a silly decision because I was never going to get on the green from there and I could easily have lost that ball. But I got away with it and we got another birdie putt. Up the hill, coming back in, not bad. Had a chance, had a chance, but didn't drop. So we stay at level par through 13 holes and all of a sudden, shooting under my handicap is a very real possibility. Other side of the road now, there's four holes over here. These are the most recent additions to the course. The course itself is all very, very new and I can't wait to see it. Well, hopefully I can get to come back at some point. Maybe that's not gonna be possible, we never know. But I'd love to come back and see it when it all grows in a little bit more. These holes, uh, we played them in another video I did this week against the She Sisters and Sarah Winter. This is a tough little par three, 194 yards hybrid for me it'll be. I hope you guys are enjoying seeing this content because not only is it you know showing this crazy impressive no venue and golf Great course, one. I'm one of very few people to ever have played this golf course and you are now one of very wow. few people to have ever seen this golf course. Didn't hit that great. So it's I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it so far. But on the 14th, 194 yards again, no hole, not a hole I should really ever have much of a chance on. But look <laughs> at this. Oh, we're cooking now. We really cooking are now. cooking. Here we come. Anytime I make a birdie on a long par three, it's absolutely stealing one. Oh, no. But we've got problems Sit here down. on 15. The hoodie's come off, it was warming up. Oh but dear, that's gone a long way left. That was in the bushes here, and now we're in defense mode again, trying to hack one out Go just on, back then. in play. I was actually trying to bend this one with a low draw round to get in front of a bunker, to get around the oh, front of the green. For a minute I thought that was unbelievable. It sort of hooked it around that bunker, landed short, running up towards the green. Didn't quite get there. It didn't quite get there, but another chance for an up and down. Similar sort of shot I had from Molly's Pond. This one on a down slope though, and I've clipped it okay. It's run on a little bit, but the putter was starting to feel a bit warmer now. So if I can make this go, and we're really in business. It'll be under par with only four holes left. Yeah. Boom, Sorry. here we Woo. go. Little cheer. The she sister to come out to do a bit of filming as well on some of the holes. So some of the guys waking up now. The course not just for me anymore. There's about five of us on it. <laughs> But still, 16th hole, dog leg right. I tried to cut the corner again. I've just got super excited after making a birdie. Got far too aggressive. It wasn't really on. And now I'm in a position where I'm having to knock back into play. Uh, this hole is fantastic. Wait till you see the approach. You can just see this is one of the few holes that still needs to grow in a little bit more. But the majority of the golf course, absolutely pristine. Over water, 16th hole, false front to this green. Need to get it up long enough. Could not be short. We are safely boarding. What you can see in the background there was a second chateau. They have an extra chateau here. This is one of the uh, second ones that has also some amazing, amazing accommodation in it. Now this is a par putt. Just trying to lag it up for a solid two putt to limit the damage. Can't argue too much. Uh, it was one of those tough holes that, you know, it's just always going to be very, very difficult. Even if I hadn't, you know, gone to the right and had to cut out the corner a bit, I probably would have still had a very long 200 yard plus over water. Could have done anything. So a bogey, you've got to take it on the chin and move on. 17th hole, 172 yards, another par three. Decent strike, needed to go a little bit. We're at the closing stretch now, guys. Can we finish level par? This is another chance though, for birdie from about 20 feet. On its way, good positive stroke, was it? No, Sebi, oh, you can't way. leave it in the jaws like that. Absolutely criminal, I hate leaving birdie putts short, but it's another potential problem hole for me. Ticked off with a par five to come. Played the par threes pretty well today, normally a big weakness for mine. Right, well there you go. Level par with one hole to play. Par five, 18. Can I go under par at the Condor Club, the Condor Experience? If you guys have stayed all the way through this video, hope you did enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Lots of very exciting content coming this year, including me playing every single open venue on the entire open rotor. Got to check that out in the 150th year. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of a place like this? Um, pretty, pretty insane. I do, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's see if I can finish on the 18th hole, par five. Can I make a birdie and sneak under par? That would just round off what has otherwise been one of the most magical golfing experiences of my life. So before we get onto this last hole, you guys have wanted to know how much it costs. Well, it's time to let you know. 
The Condor Club, in all its glory, the 17th century French chateau with 12 glorious bedrooms, restaurants and staff fully appointed. As I mentioned earlier, you can set up the course exactly how you like it, the pin positions, the green speeds, you name it. As far as I can tell, an absolutely unique experience in golf. Three night minimum stay at 35,000 euros per night, which means it's 105 thousand euros in order to be able to play this golf course and let's remember when you're here you can play the golf for an unlimited amount of times and i did my most to make most of that here went out running some mornings before we played did challenges fun games loads of content you'll see soon coming from my channel and everyone else who's out there i'll leave everyone linked in the description but there you go six figure minimum if you like in order to get to play this golf course now i'm not going to say it's for everyone because obviously it isn't there are obviously very expensive golf courses in the world exclusive membership clubs but this is not one of them. This is something you've got to stay here to be able to play it. And you've got to stay here to truly have the Condor experience. First job, hit the fairway. And sadly, Hold on. we Hold have on. failed. Out towards the left-hand side. Oh no. I was trying to absolutely bang one to get in range. Desperate to go under par. And now we're on the defensive. Back in the fairway. 4 iron DHY on its way. Can we get on the green and set up a birdie putt? It was out to the right a little bit, and okay, we haven't done it. But up and down for level par, I'll be delighted. Up and down, finish with a lovely par and level par. How do you play this one, guys? There's, everything's open here. I could just putt it. Put it straight up the hill. The fringe is mown beautifully here. I could punch and run it and let it just on the green, run up the hill. Or I could get the 58 and punch into the bank and check it out. That's the high risk shot. I don't think I'm going to do that because I've not been pitching that well with that recently. I feel like it's either a pitching wedge, just pump and run it, or it's a putt the whole way. What do you think, Craig? Pitching wedge for me. Pitching wedge? Pitching wedge. That's how you'd play it, or that's how you think I should play it? Knowing you know my game probably better than anyone. Have I got that in my locker, that shot? Yeah. Was Craig right? Up the hill, breaking back. You know what? Fair play. Good decision. Good decision, that. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Kelly. The most lovely thing in golf. After a wonderful few days here, a good solid round, a nice stress-free, hopefully, par. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much again to Dermot and his team here at the Condor for having me down. Thank you very much to Mia Baker who invited me out to be part of her trip here. It's been an amazing time. Loads of content from it. All linked below. See you soon.